What's going on, everybody? I am back with another Prize Picks MLB Player Props video. This one going to be breaking it down, giving you guys five picks to get you winning some money over here on Prize Picks. As always, after a clean sweep yesterday, yesterday we went four and oh, we had the over one and a half hits for Jesse Winker, JP Crawford, Ozzy Albies, and Dansby Swanson. They all hit 4-0, so fantastic day. We're back on a hot streak. We're looking to keep it going today. Looking to go 5-0 as always. If you enjoy, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. Like goal is going to be 200 likes off a clean sweep. I know we can get there. And uh, looking forward to keeping this hot streak going. And if you are getting very serious, would highly recommend my MLB premium content packages. That's linked below in the description. I do offer prize picks, MLB, Super Draft, MLB, Player Props. And just launched a draft. I mean, I have a DraftKings fan one, and then I just launched a really good one, the All Star Package, uh, where you're going to get exclusive live streams, live advice for me. You can ask questions about prize picks, super draft, DraftKings fan duel, all of the above. We go over the entire slate, and I always stream that live when lineups are dropping, so you can watch the re uh, recorded version after. If you're not able to make a live or if you're live, you can ask questions. You can post questions to the post of the live stream itself, and I'll answer it on the stream as well. I uh, just had a member almost take a tournament down last night, drafting Spano from that stream, and I know we went four on the prize picks as well. You get access to all the cores, all the tools, all that stuff. So I'm excited about that one. Just launched. Uh, and I'm excited to get back into the picks for this one. So let's talk about it. I got five picks. We got three pitchers and two hitters. So we'll knock out the hitters first. Then we'll switch over to the pitchers. Uh, you can mix and match these. You can put them in a five-man ticket to try to 10x. Uh, you can do whatever you'd like. So... Uh, I always put it in. I always put a power play if it's a four man or a flex play if it's a five man myself, just for you know the sake of the video, being confident in the picks and all that stuff. But you don't have to if you want to mitigate risk, you can mix and match them. So do what you will with the picks, but they're five that I really like. So let's talk about it, and we'll lead it off with the bats. And the first thing I want to talk about is going to be the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Minnesota Twins. Absolutely love the Toronto Blue Jays bats tonight because they get to take on Chi Chi Gonzalez. I love Chichi Gonzalez because the man has won me a lot of money in the past uh, from MLB DFS. I've been playing for, you know, since 2016. And anytime I see Chichi Gonzalez, nothing better than it, man. You're looking at his stats across the board. He is dreadful. Worst Sierra on the slate. Comes in with a 529 Sierra, 39.1% hard contact rate. And he gives up a 630 slugging to righties with a 47% hard contact rate and a 415 Woba. Only a 12.9% K rate against those righties as well. And he has to take on the best right-handed lineup in the league in the Toronto Blue Jays as far as just being straight right-handed. Tons of power. Springer, Espinel, Bichette, Guerrero Jr. Good luck, Chi-Chi. Uh, the Toronto Blue Jays have a 5.67 implied run total tonight. And I'm going to be loading up on them for sure um, in all formats. But over here on Prize Fix, we're going to be rocking with the hitter fantasy score for Mr. George Springer. Pick number one on the video. Once again... Right-handed hitter, absolutely mashes. Gigi Gonzalez is terrible against right-handed hitting as far as the numbers on the season for Springer. He features a 240 ISO with a 350 Woba off right-handed pitching. And pick number two on the Toronto Blue Jays is going to be Mr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I like the over eight hitter fantasy score for him as well. Once again, mashes right-handed pitching. Very weak right-handed pitcher on the bump. Vladdy features a 210 ISO with a 350 Woba off right-handed pitching. And when I broke down the pitch data, uh, both these guys absolutely destroy the fastball. That's pretty much all Chi-Chi has in his repertoire. It's a straight fastball. Springer features a 483 ISO against the fastball off right-handed pitching. Guerrero features a 306 ISO. Guerrero with a 420 Woba. Springer with a 469 Woba. So Blue Jays going to go off tonight. I just know it. Um, like Vladdy, like George Springer. Pick number one, George Springer over seven and a half hitter fantasy score. Pick number two, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. over eight fantasy score. And those are my first two picks. Picks number three, four, and five. We're going to be going with some pitching, and we're going to lead things off with the New York Yankees taking on the Detroit Tigers. And we're going to be talking about Garrett Cole. He gets to take on the Detroit Tigers tonight. One of the best matchups you could possibly ask for uh, as for a right-handed pitcher. The second worst team in the league as far as Woba off right-handed pitching with a 269 Woba. They feature a 24.2% K rate against righties and terrible across the board. Bad Babbitt, bad, bad hard contact, uh, bad slugging. Everything you're looking for, and they do strike out a ton. Um, Garrett Cole is a 361 favorite here, and I expect him to mow down these Detroit Tigers hitters. Go six plus innings, allow three and render less and get a lot of strikeouts along the way. So for that reason, 
When you go over the over pitcher fantasy score for Garrett Cole, they've got him set at 43 and a half. That is a pretty respectable line, but I expect him to go out there and put up 50 plus tonight. So I'm not worried about it whatsoever. I'm um, looking at his underlying metrics as far as Garrett Cole is concerned. Really elite K stuff. Comes in with a 32.8% uh, K rate overall, 14.8% swing and strike rate, 28.8% K rate against righties, and a 38% K rate against lefties. And then, like I said, this Detroit Tigers uh, lineup does strike out a ton. Uh, you know, going down the list as far as their strikeout rates, starting from the bottom up as always. Uh, Hill, 30%, 24% for Barnhart, 21%, 34%, 21, 19, 20, 29 at the top. So, Lots of strikeouts. You could go with a strikeout prop. I just don't think it's necessary to do so when I expect them to go six plus innings, get a bunch of strikeouts along the way, get the win, uh, get all the bonuses that you need to rack up a big fantasy score over here on Prize Picks. If you're not familiar with the pitcher fantasy score, um, you get six points for the win, four points for the quality start, which is when you go six innings or more and you allow three earned runs or less. You get negative three for each earned run, you get plus three for each strikeout, and you get plus one for each out. So. Derek Cole, absolute workhorse, expecting to go deep into the ball game as far as his pitch count's concerned. Everything's there, man. Last time out, 105, 110 the time before. Massive favorite. Everything we're looking for for the pitcher fantasy score. So we're going to be going with Garrett Cole over 43 and a half fantasy score for pick number three. Pick number four. We're going to be going down to Mr. Corbin Burns taking on the San Diego Padres. Another team that has been terrible against right-handed pitching all season long. They are the fourth worst team in the league as far as Woba with a 286 Woba. They have a 22.6% carry, only a 109 ISO, 27.4% hard contact rate. Once again, terrible. Bottom four team in the league. Um, Corbin Burns, elite stuff. He is fantastic. Has the best Sierra on the slate. Has the best K rate on the slate. He has a 34.6% K rate with a 16.8% swinging strike rate. Just ridiculously good. 34.6% K rate to righties and a 34.5% K rate to lefties with only a 273 slugging given up to righties. A 293 slugging given up to lefties. Absolutely elite stuff. He is a favorite as well. Once again, the Padres have really struggled against right-handed pitching, similar to the Detroit Tigers we talked about. He's a 156 favorite. Another guy that has a long leash, will go deep into ball games, right around 100 pitches a game, 99, 99, 105, 95, 98. The Brewers have a fantastic bullpen to back him up. I expect him to get the win. Look at his performance as 6, 7, 6, 6 innings pitched, 7 pitches, and then earned runs, 1, 1, 4, 1, 0. One of earned the quality start in one of those starts against Atlanta, but Atlanta much better offense than the San Diego Padres against right-handed pitching. Just coming off a of 7 innings pitch performance with 11 strikeouts against the Cardinals, which is also a very tough matchup. Um, can't ask for much more as far as Burns is concerned. I expect him to get the win with the 156 favorite. I expect him to go the 6-plus innings, get a bunch of strikeouts. Everything we discussed with the Garrett Cole, you can't ask for much better pitching to pitch uh, to pick from on this slate. Love the over 40 and a half pitcher fantasy score for Corbin Burns as pick number four on the video. And lastly, for the last pick, we're going to be heading on down to the Boston Red Sox taking on the Oakland A's in the Oakland A Coliseum. One of the best pitching environments in baseball. Pulling up the diagram here. Oakland A Coliseum, fantastic place to pitch. The Oakland Athletics are terrible. They are the dead last team. So we're targeting the Detroit Tigers, who are the second to worst team against right-handed pitching. We're targeting the Oakland Athletics, who are the worst team against right-handed pitching. And we're targeting the San Diego Padres, who are the fourth worst team against right-handed pitching. All against elite pitching tonight with long leashes. And the last guy, number five, is going to be Nathan Uvalde. He's a 169 favorite in Oakland. Very reasonable pitcher fantasy score for him as well. Looking at his numbers across the board, as far as what he features... Really good with a 3.49 Sierra, a 25.4% K rate, only walks hitters at a 4.4% clip as well. Features a 24.2% K rate to righties and a 27% K rate to lefties. And his recent form has been fantastic as well. You look at the last two ball games for you, Lavaldi. He's gone 101 and 108 pitches, 11 strikeouts, 6 strikeouts, 2 run runs in each of those games. Went a full 9 innings pitched against the Baltimore Orioles last time out, 6.2 the time before. And he gets the best possible matchup you could ask for, taking on the Oakland Athletics. And he's backed up by a good offense that's starting to finally heat up in the Boston Red Sox. Everything matching up here. Then lastly, the line is very friendly. Uh, they've got his line set at 34 and a half. You know, that's a much bigger discount than some of the guys we talked about so far. Uh, we'll gladly take it. I mean, he doesn't have quite as elite numbers as Corbin Burns and Garrett Cole, but he's still really, really good. He gets to take on the worst team in the league against right-handed pitching. Want to capitalize. Pick number five is going to be the Nathan Uvalde, the over 34 and a half pitcher fantasy score. And those are my five picks to get you winning some money over here on prize picks tonight, guys. 
Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. If you want to check out the premium content, you can check that out. Link below in the description. And if you haven't signed up for Prize Picks, sign up today. Use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match deposit on your first deposit up to $100. Wishing you guys all the best of luck on your Prize Picks picks tonight, and we will see you in the next one.